Hello everyone, I'm Dennis Wang and I want to share my test for this speed resin from Frozen. But first let me get this straight. 150 micron or 0.15 millimeter is thicker than 50 micron or 0.05 millimeters and it is thicker than 25 micron or 0.025 millimeters. And I have to say it because when I saw several users share their test on this resin, somehow people keep thinking 0.15 millimeters or 150 micron is the same as 0.015 millimeters or 15 micron. For speed resin at 150 micron only needs 3.5 seconds for normal layer exposure compared to other standard resin to print at 100 micron need about 4 to 6 seconds depend on the resin brand and sure they will take more exposure time to print at 150 micron. One thing for sure about this speed resin is that it can print super fast even with slow speed print setting because it relies on the thick layer height which means less layer to be print and less print time. For example, this props Alice Dagger it is about 14 centimeters height and I orient it as tall as possible to see how fast it will print and it took only 3 hours to print. For the durability of this resin, all I can say is that it has the durability as other standard resin because on my bending test, the print result break easily on all rod sizes. The same with drop test, as you can guess, it just breaks so easily, just like any standard resin. Because speed resin on 150 micron only need 3.5 seconds, I thought maybe at 50 micron or 25 micron, it can print on less exposure time compared to frozen aqua gray 8K resin, but I was wrong because for 50 micron, speed resin need 2.8 seconds exposure. And for 25 micron, it needs exposure about two seconds. In comparison to frozen aqua gray 8K, the resin only needs 0.8 to 1.2 second for 25 microns and 1.4 to 1.6 seconds for 50 microns. Pigment for the resin can hold out pretty well and this is after 24 hours only a very little separation here you could see the pigment start to settle but this is only after 24 hours compared to some other standard resin the pigment start to settle only in after 4 plus hours. In terms of print details for speed resin, I would say it is quite decent because of the short exposure time, means less light bias, and we can preserve more details because of the shorter exposure time. And for large object like this, I can see all the details got printed quite well, and the whole print time only took about 2 hours to print this controller faceplate. Speaking of details, here are close-up side-by-side look for these shoes which I printed on different layer height on 100 micron, 50 micron, and 25 microns. In this orientation, it is about 8 centimeters tall. And print with speed resin on 150 micron layer height, it took only one and a half hour to print. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think for the detailed comparison? Like what you've been watching so far, kindly like this video and subscribe to my channel or if you want to support my channel directly, you can check my Patreon link in video description. And this is an interesting look because this is at 25, 
50 and 150 micron looks glossy looks glossy and it looks dull and this is probably because of the very thick layer height at 150 micron so I would only use speed resin from Frozen to print large object, maybe like cosplay props, or maybe if I need to have a quick print, uh, a quick print prototype to check my design proportion and all before I commit to the long print time to achieve the smooth surface, high detail final prototype with the usual resin that I use, Frozen Aqua Gray 8K on 25 micron layer height. See you guys in the next video.